I don't know about you guys, but 2023 was a pretty amazing year. Hey! Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you have been here in the year 2023 watching this channel, I greatly appreciate you guys. We went over 2,300 subscribers this year, which was a pretty big deal because we had just hit 1,000 subscribers last year. So we are going in the right direction on this channel. And I owe it to you guys who watch, and I know a lot of you are watching on a regular basis, making comments and uh, keeping in touch with me. I appreciate that more than you even know. And I am looking forward to what this channel is going to do next year because I know we got a lot of big plans and I know we're just going up, up, up. So thank you for watching this channel. Now I want to do a little video today and talk about the year 2023 and what has happened in this, not only this channel, but my studio in the last year, kind of give you a little bit of an update and look back and it's always fun to see what you've done and, and uh, where we've been because we, I did a lot of things this year. I was actually in five different states shooting seven different weddings. That had to be some kind of record for me. I don't think I've done that many different states with that few of weddings. I think I did two in South Carolina. I did a North Carolina wedding, Georgia, Virginia, Colorado. I think those were my five states, uh, seven weddings. Um, we're gonna do more weddings next year, I think. So be watching for that. I think we're gonna push a little bit in the wedding uh, industry once again. I have not done that for years. Most of my weddings are just word of mouth and second shooting, um, but I think we're gonna, push forward a little bit with some weddings. I don't want to do a lot of them, but we're going to do uh, a chunk of them. And uh, so more on that to come. The other thing I did this year was over 70 different jobs. Now that's kind of an unofficial count. I was just looking at my uh, hard drive with all the jobs that I have listed out. And I had at least 70 unique jobs that I did throughout the course of this year. The commercial jobs for restaurants, uh, shooting real estate for houses, uh, product shoots, different things, but 70 different jobs, actually more than 70, along with all the stock shoots that I did. Now, when it comes to stock photography, I'm going to be honest with you, in the last quarter of 2023, I have completely dropped the ball. Um, I have been shooting some things, not specifically for stock, but just like we traveled to Colorado, so I was certainly taking pictures there, and just, you know, from day to day, I'll take a shot here or there. So I'm shooting and producing some images but I've not processed them. I've not uploaded them to the agencies. I've just either been too busy or just too lazy or probably a combination of both. And I just haven't got anything up to the stock agencies recently, but I'm happy to report that the earnings for stock photography in 2023 uh, were the highest they've been in five years. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how much I made because it's a little pathetic because I just don't make a lot of money at stock photography anymore, but I made more this year than I have over the course of the last five years. So that's good. I guess we're going in the right direction, even though I'm not going to be retiring on stock photography anytime soon. Uh, it is going in the right direction as well, and it's, you know, churning up a little bit of income each month. Now, the other thing to report with 2023 is I got a bunch of new clients, people I'd never worked for before. So that was exciting and encouraging as well. It's always neat to meet new people and to branch out and, and, and just get your name out more. You know, it's a global world now, you know, with the internet and with the way things work, you can work all over the place. But when you live in a smaller town like I do, it's nice to branch out and meet new people. So uh, thank you to all the people who trusted me that were new to uh, Studio 12 and to my photography. Uh, it was great to be a part of uh, your lives and to work for you. Now, if anybody ever asked me for some advice in life, one of the things that I would say is find something that you love to do, something that you're passionate about, and make that what you do for a living. Now, in my case, that's photography. I have loved being a photographer, creating photographs since I was a teenager. I just thoroughly enjoy it. I could take pictures all day long at a wedding and come home. If the sun is still up, I want to go down to the lake and take some scenic pictures. I just love producing photographs. So I'm passionate about what I do, and I've spent the last week or so looking back over the past year at the images that I created, the jobs that I did, uh, and started kind of pulling together what I would consider 
my favorite images of the year. Now, I've made a little list here of what I would consider to be categories or requirements for an image that sticks out as my favorite. Now, one of them is the image itself. Just this, the impact of an image that you take. Um, I'm a big fan of good lighting. I think lighting is what separates the men from the boys when it comes to photography. So good lighting is part of it. But one of the big things that I found when I look back over the year, and, and really over the course of my career, the images that stand out have something to do with the moment that I captured in that photograph. You know, whether it be a specific moment in time or, or you know, people coming together. But there's something about the moment. So, so that'll play a factor. Uh, the other thing for me, looking back over what I did uh, this year as as jobs, uh, it was the people that I worked with. Um, there was there were a few shoots that you know it was somebody new that I worked with or somebody special that I worked with. Uh, so that played a factor in it, and then uh, the experience of the shoot. Some some shoots are just you know I've done this a hundred times. You go do it again. You know whether it's photographing a house you know for a real estate client. Uh, I've been doing a lot of food shoots for different restaurants. Those are pretty much the same thing every single time. So the experience of a shoot like that doesn't have as much impact as some other shoots. Um, but what I want to do is uh, show you a bunch of what I'll call honorable mention images that I shot during the year. A lot of fun to take these pictures. They're great images. I'm very proud of them. Uh, but then I'm going to kind of weed it down and intersperse my favorites. <laughs> image that I'm going to show that is one of the top five of the year. My favorite images is this shot from a wedding. Now I was second shooting for Courtney Leach. We traveled up to Virginia to photograph this wedding and uh, this was at the kind of the final moments of the girls getting ready right before the ceremony and they were doing last minute preparations and and I was up there in the getting ready room and took this photograph. Now the lighting that was coming in that window was fantastic and I used a wide angle lens and just kind of captured the room. But what makes this special, and, and as soon as I saw this image, I, you know, in my mind turned it to black and white and it just hit me as a really neat image. I like the moment, I like the, uh, the you know, the moment of that particular day, the getting ready, the girls helping her get ready. And the bridesmaid that is sitting over to the far left of the image, uh, looking out the window, I think that just kind of makes it as far as kind of a, just a special moment. So, uh, you know, the lighting was just right, and, and it was just one of those images that it probably took me three seconds to shoot it, and I was off to something else. But for whatever reason, I really like this image. The lighting was right, the moment was right, uh, the experience with the photo shoot being in Virginia on this destination wedding uh, just kind of pulled everything together to make this a neat image. Now the next image that makes my top five favorite list is also from a wedding once again. Now again, I traveled up to uh, North Carolina, was almost to the Virginia state line photographing this wedding. I was at a vineyard. Uh, I was by myself on this wedding, uh, but it was a beautiful location. And this was right before the wedding started as well, right before the ceremony. But the bride was sitting in the stairwell waiting to be told, hey, time to come down the uh, aisle and start the ceremony. Now the lighting was lousy in this particular case. Uh, kind of was coming up the stairwell and it wasn't real attractive, but the way she was just sitting there was just perfect. And uh, I rattled off eight or 10 of these images and I kind of posed her a little bit, uh, but there was just something special and neat about this shot as well. Now lighting wasn't there, certainly the experience and the people was there, um, but again, it came down to the moment. It was just one of those special moments of the day. And I, and I think it, you know, I've never been a bride, of course, but I have been married. And I know that when you look back on your wedding day, there are certain parts of the day that you just kind of forget. But they were just those little neat moments that if they're captured by the photographer or the videographer, you'll remember them forever, even though if they weren't captured, you probably would forget them. image that I want to 
want to share as a favorite of the year is kind of a silly image. Um, it, late in the spring, I started getting these mushrooms popping up in my front yard, and I would take my Fuji X100V, which is my go-to everyday stock camera. Uh, I ran out in the front yard a couple of times, took a little portable light, and I took several photographs of uh, mushrooms over the course of a couple of weeks, but on this particular day, the lighting that was coming through the trees with the sunlight, including my light, and just the way the kind of sun did that little starburst, I didn't add that later, that was, this is pretty much straight out of the camera. It was just a fun little image, and for whatever reason, the lighting and the, the uh, I don't know, there was just something about this image that I kind of liked. Um, like I said, it's pretty much straight out of the camera, and it was just fun. I sent it into the stock agencies. I'm not sure that it's even sold once, but uh, it, it was just different. Not the kind of thing I normally shoot and uh, not the normal results that I get when I'm just kind of walking around with my camera. So this made the list. <music> next image that makes my favorites list uh, is on my list because of the photo shoot itself. The people that I worked with, the experience of the photo shoot itself. In November, Amy and I uh, brought in a professional Santa Claus. He came into the house and we photographed about a dozen different families with their kids and Santa Claus. It was a great photo shoot. I did a little video, I don't know, a couple weeks ago about the whole experience. The experience itself was just fabulous. It, you know, the, there was almost some magic to the images, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that. We did some neat lighting, and the, the, the set was great, and the Santa Claus was fantastic, but there was just something about that photo shoot that was just really, really neat, and the feedback we got later from the families when they got their images, everybody just loved it. It went really, really well. So well that Santa Claus himself, his son had just had a baby at Thanksgiving. They called us and said, hey, we'd like to bring the granddaughter, who's now three weeks old, over and do some photos. That was a huge honor and a, and a privilege for us to get that call because he works with photographers all the time but chose us to do his new granddaughter's photos. And so they came back and we kind of recreated the whole thing this time we were only working with one kid, so we had more time and could do some different things. And so that experience was just a blast. We had a great time, set up the lights, got it all pretty again, and came up with some more photographs. And I'll show you a few here. And I'll land on the one that, I, I'm gonna call this one my favorite, although I like a lot of them. This one is just really neat. Thinking that this little kid is only three weeks old and uh, her grandpa is Santa Claus made for a very special shoot and a neat image. And the last image that is gonna make my favorites list is, again, a wedding image. So three out of the five are from a wedding, which is interesting to me, but it is what it is. Again, this one is gonna come down to one of those neat moments because, again, I was second shooting. I was working with Courtney again, and I was second shooting a wedding for her uh, the bride and groom was Tim and Elizabeth, really neat couple. So the people that I was working with were really neat. Turns out that Tim is not only an avid fisherman, he makes fishing lures uh, and sells them. That's kind of a side job that he does. And I think he's getting bigger and bigger as he goes. But because he was a fisherman, and I knew that going into the wedding, I brought a bunch of fishing lures and props and stuff because I always do a shot of the bride and groom's rings. Usually I prop that shot with the bouquet and some champagne glasses and, you know, wedding stuff. This time I brought in fishing stuff, which was very unique. And it turns out that the groom, when the guys were getting ready, they were uh, drinking Coca-Cola out of a glass bottle. So they were popping the uh, Coke bottle tops as well. So I put one of those in. But that made this shot not only a neat photograph, it was a unique photograph to me. You know, of the hundreds of weddings that I photographed, I've never been able to prop this ring shot with fishing stuff. So 
Uh, that made this image kind of a standout from the uh, whole year of all the stuff I normally do. It made it unique. It was a lot of fun to do it. I know that Tim, you know, made a comment about the image, you know, the day I shot it. He, he saw me doing it. Um, so I, it, it was just neat, interesting. I have a little light off to the side lighting it, so the lighting part was there. But the experience was there and uh, the people I was working with as well. So that's uh, kind of how I pulled this image in. And yeah, those are my five favorite images of 2023. Now, of course, the goal with every job, every photo shoot that I ever go to is to make beautiful images. And that is the goal every single time. But of course, there's always going to be these standouts, right? There's these ones that you're like, I'm really proud I did that one. That one is, you know, it's just a little bit better than what you normally will produce. So... Uh, that was the whole point of this video, to show you what I thought were my favorites. I'm going to uh, finish off by showing some more of the honorable mentions as I uh, kind of lead out here. But I want to thank everybody once again. If you trusted me as a client to hire me to take your pictures this year, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. If you are a watcher of this channel, thank you for doing that. It sometimes that boggles my mind that people will watch me on YouTube and, and actually ask me a question or what is your point what is your thought about this it's it's amazing and i appreciate each and every one of you for every thumbs up for every subscriber thank you so much I, and i am looking forward to 2024 it is going to be an amazing year and i appreciate each and every one of you i look forward to seeing you in the new year i hope your plans and your year next year is uh looking bright uh and i hope 2023 was a blessing for you as well so you guys have a wonderful day Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.